for YouTube. Team Keep It Clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And Lamar Jackson, he done done it again. He done done it again. And of course, you know there are going to be some people that try to twist and turn this stat and try to make it something that it's not and try to take the negative and be like, hey, look at this. But no. Mm. But anyway, before we get into this, I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. Uh, today in the Ravens world of content creation, shout out to Cole and Mike. They getting ready to start their pod. Well, they started their podcast. Um, two guys talking football. That's what it is. Two guys talking football. They don't get no more straight up than that. Then uh, my guy Alex and, uh, and his brother Adam, they talking about starting up a podcast too. Sound like, man. Oh my guys on Twitter, they, they jumping into it. And that makes me happy because I love to see other people dive into stuff that makes them happy. I, I really love that because we, of course, everybody's working at jobs and stuff. But it's fun to have fun. It's fun to do a little something on the side, do a little podcast or something with your boys or with your husband or wife or with your brother, sister, with whatever. It's fun to jump into that and just see where it goes because you never know where it could take you. So anybody, any of y'all that's out there right now listening and you thinking about doing, and it don't got to be YouTube related. This is just period. But anybody out there that's listening to this and you thinking about diving into something, but you're like, ah, I, I don't know how it's going to go. That's the thing. You don't know how it's going to go. So you could dive into it and it could flop. It could be a complete fail. Or you could dive into it and it could be successful. You just never know until you actually dive into it. So go for it. Anyway. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. I feel like I haven't given the patrons a shout out in a while, but I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and Team Keep It Clean, thank you for being so, so positive. The positivity is insane, but that's how it should be because you know negativity out there is just as much as, or even more insane. So we got to try to counteract that with positivity. Anyway, Lamar Jackson, Warren Sharp. I, I used to always get him confused with Warren Sapp. I'm like, hold up, did, did Warren Sapp bleach his skin or something? But it's Warren Sharp. He, um, he's been on Lamar Jackson for a while. Not in a bad way, but he's been finding ways to sort of defend Lamar Jackson. He would think Warren Sharp is a Ravens fan. But anyway, he brought up this interesting, well, these interesting statistics about one Lamar Jackson. Uh, he said Lamar Jackson has 85 total touchdowns in his 37 starts. Like, okay, cool. That's fine. So 87, I mean, 85 touchdowns in his 37 starts. I like that. And you know, over the past two years, Ravens been number one in scoring. Lamar is kind of a big part of that. But anyway, let's keep going. He said that ranks number three all time. Okay, cool. I, I, I like that. But I don't think I can fully appreciate it. I need more of a breakdown. Because, yeah, seeing those numbers are cool. Seeing him rank number three of all time, that's cool in the first 37 starts. But let's dive a little deeper. He said, that's behind only Patrick Mahomes and Dan Marino. We know how great Dan Marino was. We know how great Patrick Mahomes is. So that is some nice, nice, nice company to be a part of. Very, very nice. Uh, and he said his 67 passing touchdowns is 11th most. Now that, that's where things get a little tricky. Because you see these 85 total touchdowns and people are like, oh, well, Lamar Jackson, you know he ran for a bunch of them. And he did. He ran for a nice little chunk of them, but the majority was through the air. The majority came with his arm and not his leg. And even though his legs helped create some things for his arm, that happens with every quarterback. They, is Lamar the only one that scrambles behind the pocket or in the pocket and scrambles around behind in the backfield? No. It happens. But anyway... His 67 passing touchdowns is 11th most tied with Aaron Rodgers. So in his first 37 starts, Lamar Jackson has the same number of passing touchdowns that Aaron Rodgers did. And he's ahead of guys like Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, and Phillip Rivers, and most every other quarterback in history. So when you look at these numbers, this statistic with the 67 passing touchdowns, so take the rushing touchdowns out of it. Because you know a lot of people like to say, well, the only reason that Lamar Jackson guy is special is because of his legs. If he didn't have his legs, then he wouldn't be special. But wait, this shows that his arm is special too. And see, what makes this statistic that 
much greater is the fact that Ravens don't pass the ball like other teams. Ravens don't even run the ball like other teams. I mean, they run the ball like probably about 54 more times than any other team. And I don't mean more attempts. I mean 55 times more. Like whatever the highest rushing team behind the Ravens is, you multiply their rushing attempts by 54, and then that's when you get the Ravens' number of rushing attempts. Because them boys, they run the ball all day, every day. But <laughs> anyway, and yes, I'm exaggerating because you know it's going to be somebody, oh, well, that's not technically correct. It's a joke. Anyway, what makes this so special is that, yeah, Ravens, they, they don't pass the ball that often. But this goes to show that efficiency. It shows that efficiency. So many people continue to get caught up in the yardage. They get caught up in the yardage. And then, of course, with Greg Roman and that whole conversation, a lot of people say, oh, no, Ravens need to be passing for at least 250 or 300 yards every single game. They get so caught up in those numbers like that, the yardage, that they forget about the efficiency. And what we've continued to say on this channel, especially when it comes to the Greg Roman offense and just the Ravens passing offense, they don't have to go from 32 to 15. They don't have to go from 32 to top 10. They don't have to do that. They could go from 32nd to 29th. And that could possibly even be good enough. What needs to change with the Ravens passing offense, though, is not the yards. It's the efficiency. It's the creativity. It's them just using guys and putting guys in their position to make plays and using them to their potential. That's what needs to change. They don't have to have some crazy jump when it comes to yards. Because yards do not equate wins. Again, the example that I will continue to use. Look at Deshaun Watson just last year. League leading in, in passing yards. League leading. What did that get him? Tell me. What did that get the Texans? Dak Prescott every year. He's at the top when it comes to passing yards. What did that get him? James, James Winston, a couple years ago when he was on the box, led the league in passing yards. What did that get them? So you see, passing yards is, is, is not everything. It's really not. So I know my guy Josh Hoffman, when, when I talked about that before, he made a really good point, but he said, well, but wait. But passing yards actually can mean something because it can show like the, how much the Ravens are really attempting these passes. And obviously how many are getting completed too. Because with the Ravens, we know they need to build up their repertoire of passing plays. We know that they need to build up that resume when it comes to the efficiency of, of the passing game. But again... T. Martin, Keith Williams, that's, that's what they're there to do. And they have clearly have already been putting in some work. But um, with the Ravens, again, efficiency is everything. It's everything. So, yeah, it, you got to make your blows count. That's the biggest thing. You got to make your blows count. So when you do drop back to pass, hey, Lamar be on point, offensive line, play call, wide receivers, everybody got to pitch in. Everybody and every, not every play is going to go so perfect. Not every play is going to be so smooth. We know that. That's the game of football. People mess up. People make mistakes. It's a job. It happens. But we want to try to control those mistakes uh, as best we can. So this, this statistic, it, it got even better because Barstool Banks chimed in. And he said in Lamar Jackson's first 37 starts, he threw 18 interceptions. Again, that's, what, 67 passing touchdowns to 18 interceptions. Okay, cool. Okay, what does that mean, though? But then he brought up uh, Patrick Mahomes, his interceptions, Aaron Rodgers, and Dan Marino's. Now, you know, first things first, you know these guys, they pass the ball far more than the Ravens do. Far more. All of these guys. Um, but this is an amazing statistic for Lamar Jackson. Um, but also, you got to give credit to Patrick Mahomes, too, because for as much as they pass the ball, for as much as they got that air raid system, as much they, they passing that ball all over the field, for as much as they do that, for him to only have thrown one more interception than Lamar Jackson for as few times as the Ravens pass it, 
That's amazing. And I know a lot of Ravens fans don't they don't like Patrick Mahomes. I think I think it's really been the media and a lot of Twitter too. That's really caused a lot of Ravens fans to not like Patrick Mahomes, a lot of Chiefs fans to not like Lamar Jackson. Because you always see this constant just battle. All the you see it everywhere, all over social media. It's like one of the most disgusting things. And it's like some Chiefs fans can't give Lamar credit, some Ravens fans can't give Patrick Mahomes credit. Like, man, get both of these boys their due. They both killing it, man. Both of them are doing their thing. But anyway, Patrick Mahomes is a monster. And then you look at Aaron Rodgers. 20, only 26 interceptions. That's great. That's great. It's amazing. So this, this list of quarterbacks, they are really, really good quarterbacks. It's a great list to be a part of. For Lamar Jackson. Especially, again, with how little the Ravens pass the ball. It's amazing that he's a part of this. So then, to take it up another notch. To take it a step further. Spencer. Shout out to Spencer and Jake. From uh, Baltimore Beatdown. They got their podcast too. See, everybody's doing it. But anyway, shout out to them. But Spencer jumped on. He said, you know what? Let me chime in. Because, you know, Spencer always get, he always get his tweets trending for some, some information, some statistic. Because he is on it. I know he be doing some crazy research. Crazy research. But anyway, he said, of the 11 quarterbacks with the passing touchdowns, Lamar Jackson has the least passing attempts and the highest touchdown percentage as well. Wow. And again, that, that goes to what we said about him earlier. That efficiency is crazy. The efficiency is crazy. He has the least amount of passing attempts out of all of those guys. And I mean, that's obvious. That's something we didn't even need the research to know that because we as Ravens fans, we know like, yeah, these Ravens, they don't pass the ball too often. But for them to pass the ball so far and few, but the touchdowns to be up there with the best of them, that says a lot. And as much as we, we, we complain about this Ravens offense, because there are some things that do definitely need to improve. We have an, uh, an excellent foundation. It has an excellent foundation where it is right now. And for this Ravens offense to improve, ooh, it's scary to think about in a good way. For Lamar Jackson to improve, ooh. Scary to think about in a good way. For these Ravens receivers, the Ravens receiver room to improve. Ooh, it's scary to think about in a good way. For that Ravens offensive line to improve. Ooh, it's scary to think about in a good way. For Greg Roman's offense to improve. Ooh, it's scary to think about in a good way. Let's hope that this season the Ravens, they position themselves in a good way. And they make it happen. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out.